Good morning, Gabe Cohen, American Krav Maga. Elevator safety. So, you're walking in, see a big open box, check your corners, okay? Go to the control panel, get your floor. Now, a certain school of thought, you want to stay in the elevator, you want to stay by the control panel, so that if, in fact, you're attacked by somebody back here, you could just hit, start gnashing buttons. Okay, don't worry about fine motor skill, especially if it's in a big building. This building only has three floors. But you start gnashing buttons, and hopefully you get off the next floor. Don't hit the emergency stop. It stops the elevator. It might send an alarm, but it stops it. Okay, criminals know that. So if they're in the elevator, and they hit the emergency stop, and you're in this back corner over here, okay? So there's different schools of thought. If you are in this back corner, and the other guy is over here, from here, I got time, I got distance, okay? But if he overpowers me, I'm in the back of the elevator. I'm away from the control panel. I'm not sure I like that idea, especially for a smaller, weaker person, okay? You're very vulnerable in that respect. I say, have your back against the wall so that you can see what's going on in here and be close to the buttons and ready to escape and get out this door, okay? Uh, the other thing is, trust your instincts. You, the door opens, okay? And you look inside and let's say you see a creepy individual in there. Trust your instincts. If it doesn't feel right or someone's standing behind you, let them go in first. If it still doesn't feel right, wait for the next one. Okay, let the door close, let it go up. If it comes back down and they're still on it, well then your instincts are probably right, right, because that's pretty creepy. What are they doing coming back down? Waiting for you to get in? Gabe Cohen, American Crime Guy. Have a great day. Be safe.